Welcome to Paper Threads Cutter Vision Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to trim out your stamp from your sheet of rubber. And when you first go to cut a stamp, the first thing to note is that your stamp should be on some sort of a foam or mounted cushion. Some of our stamps at paperthreads.com come with a mounting already on it, and some of them do not. They are indicated in the store whether or not they come with mounting. And what mounting is, is it's a foam cushion that gets attached to the back end of the rubber stamp that has a vinyl cling material that will cling to your acrylic block. The next thing to note when you're cutting stamps is it's always good to have a good pair of scissors. I use the Tim Holtz tonic scissor. I find that this is a very good scissor because it has a serrated blade on the scissor itself. It's got a pretty blunt and straight scissor blade which allows you to keep a straight cut on your rubber sheets and it has a wide handle so your hands can sit comfortably inside the handles. And it's essential to have good scissors because when you cut out a stamp you need to make sure that you're always cutting straight up and down and not at a, not at an angle and I'm going to show you on this stamp because there's a little bit of extra room here you want to cut straight up and down at all times so that your uh, foam backing on the back doesn't get cut into if you cut at an angle or a curve here's what can happen you can see here that my rubber is wider and the foam got cut in. So if this is the edge of a stamp here, what would happen is you're not going to get a nice solid stamp edge on there because it's been cut in underneath. And so you need to make sure you have a nice straight edge on it. So to do that, what I do is I always cut in straight lines. I never cut in curves. And for this stamp, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by cutting next to her feet into her skirt. And then I turn a little bit and I'm going to cut in and pull that away. And again, I'm just cutting straight cuts the whole time. And when I get somewhere like this where it's really curved, what I will do is I will cut into that first cut. And then I'm going to do another straight cut. I will turn the rubber up a little bit there so I can get a nice solid straight cut. And I want to keep my scissors so that they're nice and straight. you're just going to continue around until you cut out the whole image. And there you go. You can see that the cushion foam has been cut straight and I didn't have any curvature or anything on the end cuts there and that's a nice clean cut. One of the reasons why you want to get as close as possible into the image is because when you ink this image up if you had a lot of white space around it or extra space around it that has a potential of being touched into the ink pad and that's when you'll see on those stamped images where there's like an extra little line or something around the edge or away from the image. That's because somebody hasn't cut very close to their image and there's too much white space and that's picked up some of the ink and got transferred to your paper. And that's it. That's how you would cut your rubber stamped images around your cushion foam. And it's now ready for mounting onto your acrylic block. It's easy to do and it's a lot cheaper way and a more effective way to store your stamps because you can store them on a CD case such as this and you can label your case and keep them stored that way and that takes a lot less room than the wooden blocks. Once again, thank you for watching Paper Threads Cutter Vision Tutorials. We'll see you next time. Bye.